the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis. How? I am not worthy. You have the mansum here. Jazzy, Grace, how are you? You guys ready today? They're ready. Are you ready? Teachers are always ready. They have to be. We deal with students every day. Look who's here. It's the students. It's the teachers from Logan Township Middle School in Gloucester County. Hey, they just got into my classroom. They show the test students. And this is the best part, their favorite teachers. Hey, these guys are ready to rock. Pep rally, you guys good? Yep, they're ready too. It's winner take all in the cash and the bragging rights today. Before we even meet our contestants, you guys know what time it is. It's a pop quiz. <laughs> All right, middle school, you guys ready to do this? Yeah. Oh my gosh, Samir, I love that. <laughs> Grab your buzzers, we have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer, guys, 10 points for your team. You buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get it wrong, your team's locked out and the other side's gonna have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. Samir, you're literally yeah. bopping around. <laughs> we are ready to do this thing. This pop quiz <laughs> starts right now. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of North Dakota. ND. Miss Treadway jumping on it early. <laughs> ND is right. Nicely done. Which popular children's literature and movie character introduced the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious into American pop culture? Grace. Mary Poppins. Yeah, Mary Poppins. What is the only number that does not have a reciprocal? Miss Treadway. Zero. That's a great guess. That was fantastic. What is the term for a mound or hill of sand formed by the wind, usually along the beach or in a desert? Mr. Reinhardt. A dune. A dune. There it is. Nicely done. What is the name of the area of the ballpark where pitchers warm up before entering a game? Miss Treadway. Bullpen. Bullpen. Good. During the Civil War, the battles of Collierville and Shiloh were fought in what state? Samir? South Carolina? I really don't know. That was another good guess, but incorrect. Teachers for the steal? Pennsylvania. Miss Treadway's gonna try to figure <laughs> out this button thing. Uh, here we go, the answer, Tennessee. What is the loud rumbling or crashing noise heard after lightning strikes? Grace. Thunder. There it is. That sound, extra credit, here we go. Nikki Maxwell is the main character in what lighthearted children's book series by Rachel Renee Russell? Worth double, students can tie here. Sorry guys, we're looking for the Dork Diaries, the greatest title ever. Samantha Parkington, Luciana Vega, Kit Ketridge, and Julie Albright are just a few of the dolls from what famous brand? Miss Denwinger. American Doll. Incorrect, you wanna steal, students? Grace? American Girl Doll. American oh. Girl Doll, miss that all important girl part. That's it for Pop Quiz. Teachers, 40 points. Students, 30 points, and we're off to a great start today. It's middle school, and where are they from? That's Logan Township in Logan Township, New Jersey. I think uh, the mascot is a leopard? Yeah. Okay, yeah, nice. It's scary, right? By the way, this team's still holding onto their buzzers like they're playing. Feel free to put them down, guys. Hey, how are you? Now you got both hands to do whatever you want with. Uh, big day today for you, Grace. 500 is on the line for you and the rest of this team. Where's it going to go? Um, it's going to go to our student council. Ooh, perfect place to put it, and then you can spend it with doing whatever you want, right? Eighth grader, uh, guys are called lax bros, so I'm going to call you a lax chick. Okay. <laughs> yeah, do you play lacrosse? Yeah. What, what position and how long have you been playing? I'm usually attack. Nice. So you like to score goals then? Yeah. That's the perfect place to be. But the problem is, is you get hit with the sticks by the defenseman. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like an awful sport to play. You know you could run or something. It's way less physical. Well, not really. Yeah, that's no. all. All right. Well, good to see you today. Either way, 500 is yours to take if you want it. How cool is this name? Jazzy. And mm -hmm. I feel like you just got to walk around just always kind of bobbing. Like, I'm named Jazzy. <laughs> Nope, no, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Today we start, <laughs> seventh grader, guys. She is a basketball star. What positions do you play? Uh, shooting guard and sometimes forward. Do you just drain buckets like it's nobody's business? Sometimes. Yeah, I, mean, I get it. We have our off days today. Well, Jazzy, your name rocks. Hopefully, your game will too today. And Mr. Smiles McGee, there he yep. is. <laughs> Samir, how are you, man? Good. Seventh grader? Yep. <laughs> uh, and you're a winner. I'm going to call you the dude is an absolute winner. What's been going on with you? You just keep winning this monthly thing you got going on. Provocable. I'm kind of a nerd. So. <laughs> Self-proclaimed. That's totally cool. 
Oh, I just stay on and just master a crap ton of words. Yeah. I don't know if we're allowed to say crap ton on this show, Samir, so <laughs> oh, we're sorry. never going to that. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Maybe it bleeps out. Guys, good to see you. Good luck today. Can't wait for you to see if you win this thing. Samir's my new all-time favorite guest. I'm calling it right now. Ms. Treadway, good to see you. $500 uh, dollars on the line. If you win, where's it going? To our graduation fund. Oh, perfect place to put it. You're an English teacher. Uh, speaking of graduation, this one has a big graduation coming up. What is I it? Do. I will be a certified yoga instructor. Right That's away. incredible. Good for you. Thank you. What does that mean? You get to stretch all the time, right? It's, it's, a, it's a labor of love. Yeah, absolutely. Mr. Mm -hmm. Reinhardt, social studies teacher, uh, you, this is big for him, guys, because it's back-to-back -back versus students. What's That's been right. going on That's at your right. school? Uh, we had a faculty student basketball game this week. We just, call it our March Madness. Yeah, so you're just dunking on those fools? Uh, of course. Yeah, Come on, five, like, five foot ah! seven. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right, uh, you guys won? We, of course. Blowout or was it a close game? Uh, it was pretty close. All right, good. Miss uh, Damager, good to see you. Reading specialist at your school, and you are the person that runs everything that Samir wins every month. Yes, he's been winning it every month since October. Guy's so. pretty smart then? Yeah, yeah. Well, he's, he's been learning a large amount of words, uh, and yeah. hopefully that comes back and helps <laughs> him today. Hey, listen, the game continues because detention is next. Okay, teams, put your buzzers down. You guys are going to work together here. This is how detention works. I'm going to give the trailing team a category, so students, be ready. We're going to start with you. If you want to, you're going to choose whether you want to play or pass. You choose to play. You answer the question correctly. You get to send your teacher to detention. Nothing better. But if you get it wrong, they can send one of you. If you pass, guys, the other team has to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. You get everyone in detention. You get 40 points. This game is starting right now. Category. Social studies. Play. Here we go. Four of the original 13 colonies were considered the New England colonies. Connecticut, New Hampshire, Massachusetts Bay, and what other colony? You can talk about it. New York. Rhode Island was the right answer. Sorry, guys. Jesse, Samir, Grace, stay right there because teachers, who's going to detention? Grace. Grace, wow. <laughs> Miss Treadway says, Grace, you got to go. All right, we continue on. Miss Treadway apparently had something against Grace. She didn't even look at the rest of her team. She just said, I'm going for it. So here we go. Back to you guys. Your category is science. We'll play. Yeah. Okay. Shield. Composite and cinder cones are all types of what? Volcanoes. Volcanoes is right. Nicely done, guys. Okay. They're going to take a two to one. Excuse me. Two, two students are about to be off the board. You have Jazzy and Samir left. Jazzy just said, oh, no, under a breath. But someone has to go to detention. We'll send Samir. Okay. Samir out of the game, my friend. Jazzy, would, I, I really got to know. Would you have preferred to gotten <laughs> sent to detention or being left by yourself here? Um, I guess left by myself. That's the attitude we love. And here, we're jumping right back into it then. Because here's your category. Musical instruments. Play. What percussion instrument consists of two metal circles that are smashed together to make a sound? Um, the need an answer. Simba. Oh, no, you needed an L. She said Simbas. Oh. We were looking for symbols. You were this close, Jazzy. I hate to do this to you on a music question, but you got to take your jazzy self over to detention. <laughs> Teachers win it. Three students in detention. It was a sweep, bringing their score up to 80 points on the day. 30 for our students. Hey, don't go anywhere because these three and those students are going back to study hall when we come back. Guys, whoa, Simba, she was so close. Right there. Oh, that
That's a cool shot. Looking good, ladies. Welcome back to the classroom. Today, you have the students, you have the teachers, and they're from Logan Township Middle School in Gloucester County, and they're going head to head. Teachers, slight lead right now. They're leading 80 points to the students, 30, but it's anybody's game. The books are away, and now we need to start to study, so we're all headed to study hall. Okay, here's how the game works. Each team's gonna select one player from the opposing side to enter study hall. Those two players are gonna have 10 seconds to study a photo, which is never enough time. I'm gonna ask three questions about that photo one at a time. Both players, you'll have five seconds to write down your answers on the chalkboard. If you get it right, it's 10 points after you reveal your answer. We'll see how you guys do. But first, look across the studio and decide who's going into study hall. You have five seconds. All right, here we go, teachers. We're sending Jazzy. Jazzy <laughs> versus who's going to go? Um, Mr. Reinhardt. Mr. Reinhardt, Jazzy, we're going to study hall. Let's go, guys. <laughs> All right. Jazzy, ever been to study hall before? You guys don't have that yet? In middle school, you will in high school, and it'll be your favorite class of all time, I promise. You have 10 seconds on the clock, guys. You're gonna stare at that screen right there, taking as much information as you can and store it right in the old brain bank. 10 seconds on the clock, let's do it. Okay, picture down. Wow, all right, well, good luck. That's a busy one. Five seconds to write down your answers. Uncap your pens, friends. And here we go. According to the box, how many Disney durables can you collect? Pens down, here we go. You can collect, Jazzy says, 78. Mr. Reinhardt, four, what a collection. <laughs> I've got all four, you're not gonna believe this. The answer, it's much cooler to say, I have all 78 of them. So how about it? 10 points for Jazzy, great start here at study hall. And we move into question number two. What color is the pooparoos toy with blue hair? A question you'd never think you say on TV. But here we are. The pooparoo guys, you said, Mr. Reinhardt, pink, jazzy, brown. That's a good guess. <laughs> the pooparoo is purple. Purple is the right answer. Did you go brown for a certain reason? Don't tell me. Hold it right there. We move into question three. Hopefully, it's not about pooparoos. There are three types of toys on the shelf. Okay, durables, pooparoos, and what kind of pets? Here we go. Pens down. Mr. Reinhardt, you said? Uh, Jazzy? Twisty pets. Like Hatchimals. I love those. The correct answer? Twisty pets is right. There you go. How about Mr. Reinhardt? Grabs another two, uh, 10 points there. Ten, 90 points now. The Hatchimals were a good idea, but that's going to get you to 40. Hey, we're not done yet. Study hall may be over, but we're gearing up for the final exam. The classroom is still in session when we come back. And I promise, no more pooparoos. You guys know this move? work on my moves. These are getting worse every show. Welcome back to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from Logan Township Middle School in Gloucester County. That's right. It's middle school in the house today. I got the coolest middle schooler in the world, right? This is Morgan. Morgan, you know these students. They got 40 points on the board. Teachers, they're doubling them up. They got 90. That's a bad double, plus 10, but don't do the math here. <laughs> you know everybody. Yep. Who's winning this thing? Students, because my best friend's on there. Her name's Jazzy, and she's awesome and really smart. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Can you be my best friend? Because you are the best hype team I have ever seen in my life, Morgan. That's incredible. What grade are you in? Seventh. 
Seventh. All right, seventh. Jazzy, you have some big shoes to fill here. And how about this? We have a celebrity in the house. Principal Moran, good to see you. Good to see you. You, you know these guys. You hired these people. I did. So now you get to see them up here competing against some of the best students you have. How cool is that for your school? It's awesome. I'm so excited. I'm not sure who's going to win, but I'm really excited that they're here and they're representing Logan Middle School and everything. Yeah, we absolutely. Well, hey, you, anytime you want to be my principal, because you are one cool lady. She's been shaking it up all show. <laughs> all right, guys, you know what the best class is? It's when we get to go on a bus and take a field trip. Let's go! <laughs> All right, guys, the bus is waiting, so grab your buzzers. Today, we're taking a field trip. I love this place, to the carousel at Franklin Square. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question I'm going to ask at 10 points for their team. You buzz in, you get it incorrect. Well, I'm sorry, but you're locked out. Another member on the opposite team can buzz in and steal those points. Fox 29 meteorologist Kathy Orr. She usually is giving you the forecast. Today, she's giving you the question. Here's Kathy. It's all about the fun, Richard. We're here at beautiful Franklin Square on the carousel talking amusement rides. Here's a question for you. Inside a large ring or pen, riders jump into miniature vehicles and slam into each other. In what fender bender attraction? This is D. Bumper cars. Bumper cars, dodge em cars, we'll accept it. They are fun. I love it. Teacher strike first here. Students, let's see if we can get you guys right back in the mix here with question number two. Hey, are you ready for question number two? I think you got this. What type of ride involves people getting splashed at every twist, turn, and drop as they float in a hollowed out artificial tree? Splash Mountain is an example of this. Mr. Reinhardt. Log flume. Log flume is right. There you go. You guys ever been in a log flume? Yeah, you're like, Samir, you've never been on a log flume? No, I'm scared of water. Okay. <laughs> you learn something new about Samir at every twist and turn. Here we go, guys. Question number three, and Kathy has it for us. Now for question number three. What type of thrill-seeking attraction is a railroad track with tight turns and steep slopes where people ride fast in small open cars? King to Ka and Six Flags is one. Jazzy. Roller coasters. We're doing it. Yep, Jazzy splits it up. Morgan, that's your best friend right there, huh? There she is doing well for it. And that's going to wrap up our field trip. Big thanks to Kathy Orr, but let's be honest. That looked like a fun assignment, Kathy. Hey, scores, teachers, 110. Students with 50. Guys, you're in the mix because both teams have a chance to win 300 points on the board here in our final exam. <laughs> The topic of today's final exam is double meaning. This means a certain word in the question or answer will have two different meanings. I'm going to ask both teams three questions. Each correct answer, 100 points gets added to your score. Who's going to work together? Well, it's going to be you guys during the commercial break. 60 seconds will be on the clock. No writing quite yet. I'm going to give you these questions right now. What word is both the name of a flying, flying mammal and an object used in sports? Number two. Chuck is both a verb that means to throw and the name of a yellow bird in what 2016 animated movie? Finally, here it is, we'll wrap it up with what word can be used as a verb to mean add spices to food or as a category noun to describe spring, summer, winter, or fall. Okay, we know the questions. Each team, 60 seconds on the clock. Who's gonna win? I have no idea, but look at the smiles on the student team. They wanna win it, and so do they. Our teachers are gonna strike when we come back. But first, my friends, here's a look at how you can be part of this show. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclashroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Welcome 
Welcome back into the classroom, everybody. I'm glad you're here because we have the students and teachers from Logan Township Middle School going head to head. Teachers in the lead, 110 points. To the students, 50. It's anybody's game as we go into our final exam where we learn the topic today is double meaning. This means a certain word in the question or answer will have two different meanings. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions about it. Don't forget, guys, each correct answer you bank is going to get you 100 points for your final score. So who's going to win this thing? I have no idea, but the students are over here. They were high five and you guys feeling pretty confident right now? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Samir, you're going to go back to school. Let's say you win this thing. Who are you going after the most? Who are you talking trash to? Uh, uh, Mrs. Daminger. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be in class and be like, I'm smarter than you. Yep. <laughs> That's all you need to say. All right. And Miss D, you're going to take that or are you just hoping to win this thing? I I'm confident that we've got this. All right. Well, who's going to win? I don't know, but 500 is on the line. Let's play this final exam. Here we go. What word is both the name of a flying mammal and an object used in sports? Samir says a bird. Incorrect. A bird's its own classification, guys, not a mammal. No points there. And we go to our teachers. We say bat. That is what we were looking yeah. for. All three of them just put their hands in their head going, oh no. Well, they didn't get this one, but they do move on and we see if we can keep this going here. Jazzy, moving into some movies. Students love movies. Let's see how you guys do with this question. Chuck is both a verb that means to throw and the name of a yellow bird in what 2016 animated movie? Jazzy, you said Angry Birds. Yeah, there it goes, 150, okay. Now you guys have to get these next two right. If the teachers don't get this right, the game continues. Otherwise, $500 is gonna go back home with our three teachers. Chuck is both a verb, throw, and a yellow bird. Mr. Reinhardt, you get this right. The $500 is yours and the bragging rights to say that, yeah, we are right. You said. It's a clean sweep. It's Angry Birds. <laughs> Angry Birds teachers are your winners. 310 points. Come get that money. Hey, what word can be used as a verb to mean it adds spice to food and it's seasons. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time on The Classroom. How about it?